Welcome to StoryFlix. In this video, we will explain a psychological thriller film adapted from a novel entitled Perfume, released in 1985. This film tells the story of a man named Granuil who has a strange hobby. He is very interested in the smell of women's bodies and makes perfume. Let's explore together the excitement of the perfume, the story of a murderer. Perfume, the story of a murderer, begins with a scene where a skinny man who has just been released from a prison cell and paraded directly onto a balcony. Beneath him could be seen angry people calling for the man's death sentence. Then the official read out the charges and the sentence given to this man was the death penalty. But what exactly did this poor man do that he was sentenced to death? Let's start the story of this man from so many decades before, to be precise, when he was born. At that time, in a wet market in the slum city of Paris, there lived a woman selling fish who was secretly pregnant. The woman tried to hide her womb until, finally, it was time for her to give birth without realizing it. And the woman then gave birth in the marketplace, among the piles of fish in the rotten muddy streets. The woman immediately threw the baby between the pile of fish and tried to assume that the baby was dead. But unfortunately, the baby Grenouille is not about to leave this world yet. He began to smell the stench around him, and at that moment, he cried so loudly that one market was shocked and realized that his mother had just dumped her newborn baby. His mother had to meet her death by beheading for trying to kill her own baby. Grenouille immediately became an orphan at that time, and he was sent to an orphanage full of abandoned children. In this orphanage, he was even about to be killed by other children, luckily he was saved by Madame Gaylord. Grenouil then grows up to be a strange boy and is shunned by his friends. In his childhood, he could not speak and liked to collect all the objects he encountered, such as wood, rotten fruit, to leaves and enjoy all the scents produced by these objects. One of the main advantages of Grenouil, he has a nose that can smell everything around him, even from inanimate objects that do not have a smell. So when he was 13 years old, Grenouil was finally sold by Madame Gaylord, the orphanage owner, to a tanning factory owned by Grimal. The man looks cruel and employs a lot of teenagers. Grenouille knew that his life in the coming years would be difficult, but he accepted it without protesting at all. That same day, Madame Gaylord's life met its end. When she came home with money from selling Grenouille. She was robbed in the middle of the street and had her throat slit. Her life is finished in this world. Meanwhile, for years Grenouille worked so hard at Grimal's tannery. His work was so hard that he worked up to 16 hours a day, even in winter. Grenouille lived such a hard life without complaint. Silently, Grenouille looked at the city in the distance, hoping that he could raise his foot in the city one day. After years of hard work, Grenouille finally got the opportunity he had been waiting for to visit the city. Grimal invites him to come to town to deliver various skins from sea urchins. In that city, Grenouille was so impressed with all the diversity he encountered. He could see many people with different smells. Grenouille was so happy that now he could play his nose with new scents that he hadn't smelled in a long time. It was then for the first time that Grenouille could inhale such a pleasant aroma in his nose. And the scent was coming from a perfume shop in the corner of town. The aroma of this creates a variety of flavors that have never been smelled before. That time, for the first time, Grenouille was about perfume. That night without realizing it, Grenouille actually smelled another smell that was far better than the perfume in the perfume shop. Grenouille immediately followed his sense of smell, and it turned out that such a nice smell came from the body of a girl who was walking on the city streets. The woman had brown hair with a beautiful body. In his life, Grenouille had never smelled such a scent. He just kept following the woman until he startled her. The woman turned out to be just a village girl selling fruit on the street. Grenouille really couldn't help himself. He started kissing the girl's hand. His actions made the woman immediately run away in fear. But Grenouille couldn't hold himself anymore. So armed with his extraordinary sense of smell, Grenouille managed to find the woman's place. The young woman was cutting the fruit she sold alone. Grenouille approached her, intending to smell her scent, but the woman who was aware of Grenouille's presence almost screamed, and without a word, Grenouille immediately covered her mouth. Unknowingly, he actually killed the woman. After her body lay stiff, Grenouille began to kiss the woman's entire body, from her hair to all parts of her body. But Grenouille was so stressed that he couldn't catch her scent. Grenouille then returned to his master, and he was severely beaten for running away. But that meant nothing to him. He kept remembering the woman's scent. He wanted so badly to catch that scent, but at that time, he still didn't know how. The following scene switches to a man named Baldini, a perfume maker in Paris who is starting to lose his skills and expertise in making good perfumes. In his youth, Baldini managed to create a variety of perfumes that are so popular. Now in his old age, he can no longer create a good perfume. His shop was deserted and he was in danger of going bankrupt. Meanwhile, in Paris, a perfumer named Bellis is on the rise with his works called Amour and Psyche. 
Baldini was jealous of Bellis, but he realized that his perfume works were no longer good and his career was almost over. In his study, Baldini tried hard to decode Bellis's amour and psyche perfume contents, but tried again and again, he simply couldn't do it. That night while fast asleep in his study, Baldini was surprised by a knock on his door, it turned out that there was a man delivering animal skins, and that person was none other than Grenouille. Grenouille was finally allowed by Baldini to enter his house and place the various skins he had bought. It was there that Grenouille could not help but inhale the different essential scents used by Baldini to make perfume. Grenouille ventured to express his wish, he said if he could make and mix anything because he could smell all the scents in the world. At first, Baldini didn't want to believe it, but Grenouille immediately said that Baldini smelled the scent of a more and psyche perfume that was popular in Paris. Grenouille says he has the best nose in the world that can smell any scent, only that he doesn't know the names of those religious stinks. Grenouille says he can make a more and psyche perfumes from his sense of smell alone. Baldini also gave him a chance and was surprised that Grenouille could easily make a more and psyche perfumes. The next day, Baldini returned to Grimal's leather tanning factory to buy Grenouille at a high price. Grenouille was so happy that he finally learned how to make perfume. He just wanted to learn how to pick up on scents, especially the scents of girls. Meanwhile, Grimal, who got the money from selling Grenouille, spent it by drinking. He who was drunk actually fell into the river, and his life in this world was over. Now Grenouille's life moved to Baldini. Working with Baldini, Grenouille can clearly use his extraordinary sense of smell to produce some of the most fragrant perfumes in Paris. Baldini's shop, which was almost bankrupt at first, has become the number one perfume shop in the city. Grenouille's hard work was not in vain because Baldini started teaching him how to make perfume. Grenouille asked Baldini to teach him to bind scents. So Baldini began teaching Grenouille how to capture the scent of a thousand rose petals into an essence with his machine. This machine can turn all the floral scents into just a small bottle with a solid prickly scent. And that was what Grenouille wanted. However, Grenouille was disappointed that what Baldini taught was not what he wanted. He didn't just want to catch the unmistakable scent of roses. But he wanted to learn how to pick up on the scent of inanimate objects, from metal to glass to Baldini's cat. Grenouille then fell ill because he was so stressed. Baldini was very afraid of losing Grenouille. Grenouille is dying and close to death, but he still wants to learn how to bind scents, so Baldini says he can learn it in a perfume town called Grass. So Grenouille asked permission to go to the city of Grass, but Baldini had a condition where Grenouille had to give him 100 perfume recipes. Baldini was so happy that he had the perfume recipe that many of Grenouille had left behind. Grenouille finally left Baldini. That night Baldini slept soundly with a recipe book for hundreds of new perfumes in his hand, unexpectedly, he would never see the sun again because his house, which was over the bridge, collapsed that night and killed his life. Meanwhile Grenouille begins a journey to grass to discover who he is and his ability to perceive scents. Grenouille then chose a path through the forest and mountains. When he arrived in a cave, he began to settle there and at one with nature. He could inhale the various scents of nature that he had not previously inhaled and enjoyed. In that cave, Grenouille began to realize one thing that he did not smell at all. He is not like humans in general who have a body odor. Finally, months in exile in the cave, Grenouille came out of hiding and started walking towards the town of Grass. When he arrived in the countryside with beautiful lavender fields, Grenouille could smell the scent he loved so much. A scent emanating from the body of a red-haired virgin girl. Grenouille was instantly blown away when he inhaled her scent and he knew he wanted to catch it. Grenouille followed the girl until he finally arrived at the town of Grass. This time, he had to get the girl's scent. Grenouille continued to follow his sense of smell until he came to a mansion with a high fence. Even from a distance, he could clearly smell the girl who had just taken a shower. Grenouille watched the girl from a distance that night, and he almost kidnapped her before the girl's father came, and Grenouille left. Grenouille ends up working for Madame Arnolfi in a flower factory. People in this place take various flowers and make a liquid from them. There is a huge giant tube in the factory where they insert flower petals to turn it into flower essence. Day and night, Grenouille worked diligently. Meanwhile, there is a couple who intend to have fun in a hut in the middle of the night in the flower garden. But because the girl was acting annoying, the boy left. The girl was not aware that she was being targeted by Grenouille. That night, for the second time, Grenouille killed the girl and put her in a large jar to extract the essence. Then the next night, Grenouille started to act again. This time he hires a prostitute and intends to make perfume from her body. Grenouille then took out the animal fat and started applying it to the prostitute's body. Then the prostitute began to feel frightened by the strange things that Grenouille did to her. But the prostitute was actually killed by Grenouille. The prostitute's corpse is then smeared with all the animal fat underneath and wrapped in a cloth-like mummy. 
Grenuil was still struggling to find the right way to bind a girl's scent. After being wrapped up overnight, Grenuil began using a knife to scrape the fat off the woman's corpse to get her scent. Then he mixes the cream to produce a perfume essence. Amazingly he managed to do the experiment. One day, Grenuil was watching a red-haired girl who was celebrating a birthday at her mansion. The girl was clearly his main target. While playing hide and seek in a garden with maize-shaped grass, finally the girl named Laura found the shadow of Grenuil who was staring at her in the dark. But when he tried to chase her, Grenuil failed. That night, Grenuil's hunt did not succeed in getting Laura, but he managed to kidnap two other girls at the party, and which he immediately produced to be used as perfume. Grenuil's experiment was successful, and now he has created two other human perfumes. All residents in the city are now starting to get restless because of the many women who were found murdered with their bodies naked and their hair shaved. One thing they found in common was that, although the girls were found naked, none of them had been raped. Everyone is confused by the motives of the perpetrators of this crime. Police in the town of Grass has imposed a curfew and asked the girls to stay indoors. The city becomes unsafe. Everyone is starting to get scared while the girls are always found missing every day. Meanwhile, Grenouille's perfume collection continues to grow. Grenouille begins to mix all the perfumes of the various girls he killed into a new perfume. Strangely, a messenger came to the city and reported that the perpetrators of the murder of the girls had been arrested in the next town. But Monsieur Riches, Laura's father, doubts that. So that night, to celebrate the capture of the murderer, the townspeople celebrated with a dance party beside the bonfire. However, Monsieur Riches realized that the conditions were not yet safe, and he knew that Laura could be the next prey. Then Laura and her father got into an argument because her father asked her to come home from the bonfire party, so Laura was slapped. Laura fled down the narrow street. Meanwhile Grenouille was waiting there to finish her off. Luckily her father came in time and managed to save her. Meanwhile, Grenouille's obsession with Laura was growing. That night he managed to infiltrate Laura's room. He looked at Laura's body in the darkness, but was lucky because Monsieur Riches woke up in the middle of the night and immediately rushed to her room. That's when they realized that the bedroom window was open. Monsieur Riches knew that his daughter was now the killer's target. Monsieur Riches then moved Laura out of town. But Grenouille's magic nose could easily smell Laura's body starting to leave town. Grenouille panicked because his target would be lost, so he immediately ran outside and began to follow his scent. Meanwhile, a dog enters Grenouille's residence and finds a variety of clothes and human hair. This time Grenouille's actions had been caught. One city didn't think that the skinny and nerd boy was the perpetrator of a serial killer all along. Standing on the hill, Grenouille could smell Laura who was now going away on a horse out of town. Arriving at a vacation home by sea, Laura and her father intend to spend the night there. Her father was so protective, and he was sure that Grenouille wouldn't be able to find them. Meanwhile, at Madame Arnulfi's house, the police have managed to find all the hair and the cloth covering the victims Grenouille used to absorb the essence of their bodies. All the police teams were immediately dispatched to arrest Grenouille. Night falls, and Grenouille manages to track down Laura. By climbing the wall, he easily entered Laura's sleeping room. Because of his odorless body, no one noticed that whenever Grenouille approached, he was like a ghost hovering around looking for prey. Grenouille realized that it was time for him to create his last and most phenomenal perfume. The following day, Laura's father woke up and he immediately checked Laura's room. How shocked he was when he found his daughter's lifeless body. And fulfill all Grenouille's wishes. He finally succeeded in creating a perfume, the master of the most potent perfume of the scents of all the girls he killed. It only takes one drop, he can affect anyone with his perfume. But his heyday ended so quickly. Grenouille is caught in a forest while making his last perfume. He was immediately thrown into prison. Grenouille was tortured by Laura's father by being drowned upside down. Angry citizens immediately gathered at the town hall and impatiently waited for the executioner who was ready to execute Grenouille. Grenouille, who was inside the prison, began to be chained. But no one knows if he keeps a small perfume bottle, which is the most powerful perfume in the world. Now, the time has come for him to be sentenced to death. That's when Grenouille opened the cap of his perfume bottle and one drop of perfume immediately hypnotized everyone. Among the crowd of people who wanted to see the execution of Grenouille's death, a carriage came. When the carriage door opened, a man wearing a robe came out. The man turned out to be Grenouille. When they saw him, everyone started to kneel and salute, as if they were seeing an angel. Everyone was amazed to see him. Even the fierce-looking executioner knelt down to him and said that Grenouille seemed innocent. Grenouille began to take out his perfume and dripped it onto his handkerchief. He then shook off the perfume and bewitched everyone. That's when everything started to lose control, as if getting happiness from nowhere. While waving once more, everyone started to fall down and make out with each other. 
In history, everyone in Grasstown seemed to be hit by magic and started doing the biggest orgy activity ever. Everyone without the exception of the priest, the poor and the rich. They all merge into the town square. The people in Grasstown woke up and were confused about what they had done. They were all very embarrassed. They even seemed to be brainwashed and don't remember Grenouille, who should have been sentenced to death. Meanwhile, 48 hours after the incident, Dominique Druitt, Madame Arnuffley's husband, was arrested and he was forced to admit that he was the one who serialized all the girls in the village. He was eventually hanged. Grenouille was now halfway back to Paris. He still had enough perfume to anesthetize the whole world. Grenouille then returns to where he was born. There he could see the poor sitting in front of the fire. The purpose of tying the scent had been learned and he had no ambitions anymore. So Grenouille poured his last perfume right on him. Now the poor man began to see him as an angel. As if there was a magnet, everyone started to surround him and start playing him alive. This was the end of Grenouille's life. He eventually died in the city where he was born. One of the greatest perfume masters in the world.